At the moment, we've only got a very small number of records in our database. Let's insert some more data using phpMyAdmin's import facility this time. The import facility is very useful in many ways. We can use it to add a set of predetermined data easily from a file as we're doing now, and we can also use it to perform tasks such as backups of records in a database. In phpMyAdmin, click to get into the customers table and then click on import at the top of the page. Click Browse and select the file importcustomers.sql from the working files, which is in the directory corresponding to this lesson. Select UTF-8 as the character set of the file. Select SQL as the format. And click Go. Just as before, you should get a message that the import has been successful, saying how many queries were executed and how many rows were inserted. Click on the table name, and you should find the table populated with the new records. Let's have a look at the SQL file. Open it up in your code editor. You can see it's exactly the same syntax as we learned in the previous lesson when we inserted data. The statement starts out with insert into and the table name, then in parentheses a comma separated list of the column names in the table, then values, then sets of parentheses, each containing a complete record of one customer, the individual values being separated by commas, and enclosed in single quote marks. So, now we've created a database, created a table within it, and we insert it and then imported data into the table. In the next lesson, we'll see how to retrieve data from the database.